Who would have thought? In Pakistan, a 750 kilogram crankshaft is made using a lathe that's over 150 years old. Yeah, older than your great grandpa's bedtime stories. And the crazy part? Its precision still beats some modern machines that freak out the moment the Wi Fi drops. It all starts with a steel bar half a meter thick, big enough to make any Jimbro rethink his life choices. A regular saw can't cut this monster, so they use gas cutting flames that have to be adjusted non stop. Rumor says the amount of gas they burn in a year could circle a small country. After cutting, the steel is hauled to the workshop and pushed into a massive furnace. Their tools? A giant pair of tongs, a long steel pipe for leverage, and a whole lot of confidence. The heat blasting out of that furnace could roast two goats at the same time. Once the steel glows bright orange, the air hammer goes to work. It's slow, but every hit lands with the emotional weight of unpaid bills. Workers constantly rotate the metal to keep the shape even, kind of like iron and clothes just 700 kilos heavier. When one side is shaped, it goes back into the furnace. Then they forge the second crank pin the same way. This step drains strength, patience, and sanity. Next comes machining. Three antique lathes run side by side, throwing metal chips everywhere. They mark cutting lines using nothing but a straight metal ruler. Simple? Yes. Accurate? Somehow? Also yes. To cut the connecting journals, they mount the crankshaft off-center and add weights to balance it. Looks a little insane, but hey, if it works, it works. Last step, drilling oil passages. All done manually, slowly, one hole at a time, something modern factories abandoned decades ago. And that's how a tree-sized steel bar becomes a giant handmade crankshaft. Now the real question is, what kind of machine do you think needs a crankshaft this big?